Hi, so in this video I'm going to be telling you how to make your video widescreen and HD. Now this is um, going to be covering for if your video isn't necessarily meant to be widescreen fully. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a video that I made. Let's say my previous one. Now you see here that it isn't really meant to be widescreen. What we'll do is we'll click on that video, right click, then go to video event pan crop. Now what we need to do is here where it says maintain aspect ratio, which this may be collapsed so you might open it. Make sure it says no. And you'll see here that it stretches to fit the uh, widescreen specs for YouTube. So that's cool, that's done, that's everything. Now what we do, need to do now is go to File, Properties. We need to make sure that it's selected at HDV 720 30p and that the resolution is 1280 by 720 at 29.970 frames per second. Next for the pixel ratio we need to make sure it's 1.00000 square. Field order non-progressive scan. We need to make sure the pixel format is 8-bit. We need to make sure that the full resolution rendering quality is best. Motion blur type make sure it's Gaussian. The deinterlace method, make sure it's none. Keep uh, un adjust source media to better match project or render settings. Just keep that unchecked. Now we'll go to the audio. You want to make sure the master bus mode is set to stereo. You want to make sure the sample rate is set to 44,100 Hz. Make sure the bit depth is set to 16. Make sure the resample and stretch quality is set to best. Now make sure set all new projects with these settings is checked. Click apply and OK. Now what we need to do is go to file again, render as now from the save as type we need to make sure that main concept AVC AAC is selected. Now you've already seen that I've made my own template. But we're going to make a new one. So make sure you have default template selected. You want to go to custom. Now you is the width and height should be okay. Like what we want it to be. 12A by 720, so we'll leave that. Make sure the profile is main. Make sure the frame rate is 29.970 frames per second, NTSC. Just make sure that the box next to allow source to adjust the frame rate is unchecked. Make sure the field order is non-progressive. Make sure the pixel ratio is 1.0000. Make sure the number of reference frames is 2 and that the use the blocking filter is checked. And now for this part we need to make sure that variable bitrate is selected. Now for the best quality we need to check two pass and where it says maximum bit rates per second we need to go to the drop down and select 4 million for the average we need to make sure it's 2 million so that's okay now we need to go to audio we need to make sure that include audio is checked or you're not going to get any sound when you play it back 
Make sure the sample rate is 44,100 Hz. And make sure the bit rate, I usually make sure it's 192. That's just personal preference. It's a decent uh, quality. Now click on OK. You'll see template's been made. You want to click on custom again just to make sure everything's OK. Which it looks like it. So in this text box here, you want to type in a name for your template. For this I'm going to call it YouTube HD 720p. Next what you want to do is click on save template. And then click OK. And you see it's been made here. So make sure that your template is selected. Now if you didn't make sure beforehand, click on any empty area and it will fit to the length of your video, your project. And then just go back to file render as as before. Make sure that main concept ABC AAC is selected. Make sure your template is selected. Uh, name your file, whichever you want. I'm just gonna leave it as untitled. Click on save, and it should start rendering. So I hope you found this video useful. And until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.